All right, so this is the part five of this video series. In the previous videos, we talked about our temperature data set, soil temperature data set, and we talked about how we can analyze, visualize that data set. In this video, I'm going to start the topic of time series forecasting, and I'm going to start with a very simple univariate LSTM model, and I'm going to show you a simple example. In the source code, you can find the source that I'm going to use for the code that I am writing um, in this video. I have changed it a little bit. Obviously, I've changed the input data, but um, the structure of it, you can find it in this link over here. If you are already familiar with an LSTM and deep learning models, uh, you can skip this video because this is probably going to be too simple for you. But if, it, if this is um, new to you, I think you can learn about LSTM models and how they work, specifically when we are uh, forecasting temperature data with them. Okay, so we have an input time series, and that time series is only one time series of, let's say, uh, temperature at the depth of 50 centimeters. LSTM is going to learn the trend of this time series, and it's going to have some hidden layers and have some dense layers to give us the give us the output of that time series. That output could be one time step, two time steps, three time steps, depending on how we want to proceed. Okay, so in this example, I am going to let's say have LSTM to read the seven previous data points. And based on those seven previous data points, uh, predict one step for what one step ahead for me. So read seven, predict one step ahead of time. Okay, so this would be the goal of what I want to do. If you are not familiar with the data set, I highly recommend watching the previous videos in my data in my um, playlist, and you can learn a lot about that. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is to define a sequence or define the time series that I'm gonna use. So what I've done over here, I have defined a raw sequence and I have converted the data frame of the 50 centimeter soil temperature into a NumPy array. So just to show you what I've done over here. So this is the data frame that I was talking about. And you can see that there are a lot of columns over here. I have, I have actually this column, the soil temperature 50 centimeter, and I have converted this column into a NumPy array uh, because when we are working with LSTM and when we are working with the specific libraries, we need to have um, this data frame into a NumPy array. Okay, just to show you how it's going to look like, I am going to print it for you. Um, okay, so let's run this. There we go. So now you can see that we have an ar array of the temperatures right over here. The next step is to prepare the data. Okay, so in order to prepare the data for a univariate uh, simulation, you need to define um, a function, and I have called this function split sequence. The sequence would be the raw sequence that we have defined over here, and the number of steps if is essentially you are telling LSTM that how many steps before are you going to take a look at to predict what I want to. So this number of steps in our case is going to be seven, right? And then X and Y, X is your training data, Y is your prediction. And then um, I have defined essentially a function. So whatever data that I have, if I give it to this function, it will give me um, uh, X and Y that I will have. Let me, let me actually show you the training data. So, okay, so the number of steps, as I told you, seven, and then um, I am going to print the first five X and Y series that I have created using this function over here, and I have called this function right over here, right? So split sequence. Now, uh, the output of that function is X and Y, and let's see how they look like. Oh, it looks like that I forgot to run this cell first. There we go. And now this one. Okay, so the first training data, x values, we should have seven values. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And y, we want to predict one, right? So there is one value. This is the training data. Obviously, I have only printed five first uh, rows of that training data that I have. Okay, so LSTM is going to take this data, 
train the model, and then based on the training, we'll be able to give us the forecast based on any seven data points that we give to the model. All right, so now I'm going to talk about this LSTM um, univariate example. Let me copy and paste a piece of code. And again, if you are new to this video series, you have access to this um, Google Colab code that I have written. So that's why I don't spend time to write the code. First of all, I have imported some of the libraries that I'm going to use. Sequential, which gives us ability to forecast time series, LSTM and dense, and then number of features. We are uh, forecasting one feature, right? So this is one. And then the important part over here is that you need to reshape the X value right over here. Right now, this is an array over here, NumPy array. You need to reshape that like this. And um, once you reshape that, then you will be able to put it into an LSTM model and fit it into an LSTM model. The other things that I want to talk about, um, I will let you to research and learn about different LSTA, LSTM uh, features. This 50 over here, these are the, the, the number shows you the number of LSTM units or in the hidden layer. So the hidden layer was inside this component over here, and this is the number of units. Uh, the activation, you had different activation function. I'm going to use the ReLU act activation function. Again, you can learn about which one is the best for your data, for the temperature data that I'm using. I'm going to use the ReLU. Um, the shape is just the shape of the model. And then I have, I'm have i going to define one dense layer. Optimizer for the gradient descent, I'm going to use Atom Optimizer. Again, there are multiple options. And the loss function that I'm going to use is mean square errors. Uh, you can change all of these. I'll let you to do research and learn more about this. In this video, I'm going to show you the application of LSTM. Okay, and then I will fit the model to my X and Y with the number of uh, epochs. Again, you can change this number, make it smaller, make it higher to increase the accuracy of your model, to change the how your model is going to be trained, essentially. Um, the larger this number, it's going to take a little bit longer for you to run the model. Okay, so let's run this, and then uh, I'm going to show you this X that we have reshaped over here. So you can you will see that how this X is re reshaped once the um, cell is successfully done. You can see that even with 20 epochs for my computer, it's going to take some time before this cell is ready. Um, and I can go move to the next one. All right, so this is done. Now let me show you the how this cell is going to look like. So take a look at that and compare that with the value of X over here. We have reshaped that to look like this. And again, I've only printed the first five. Uh, it looks like this. And this is ready to um, essentially be imported into the LSTM model. Okay. And the last part that I want to show you is how to show the prediction. So now we have trained our model. Now what we need to do is to give it some input data. And based on that input data, we ask it to predict the next step. So here is what I want to do right over here. The input data that I have defined, I have defined seven different temperatures. And I'm going to ask the model if the seven previous days had these soil temperatures, uh, tell me what would be the soil temperature value for the next step. And as you can see, again, I have reshaped the X input array that I have. And a prediction would be based on um, the input data that I have over here. And Y hat is the value, the predicted value, the predicted soil temperature at 50 centimeters. So let's run this one as well. You can see that LS, based on the LSTM training, it tells me that the value of temperature would be 7.88. Okay, so now um, these values over here, these seven values should be familiar for you. So let's take a look at if I go all the way up right over here. Actually, right now you only can see three of them. So let me change this to uh, eight and run the cell. Okay, so at 50 centimeter, these those these are the input values that I gave the model to test how is my prediction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have given these seven values to the model, and I have asked the model to predict the next number.
And the prediction by the model was, what was the number? The prediction was 7.88, 7.9, right? So if I go up and double check with the observed value that I have, you can see that it's right over here. Uh, the actual observed number for the soil temperature at 50 degrees, 50 centimeter is 7.83 and the predicted model by LSTM was 7.88. So not bad given the fact that we only had 20 epochs and only seven data points, the prediction is not bad, right? So if you want to have different values over here, you can definitely change these numbers and get the prediction for the next number over here. All right, so this was a short video and a very simple example just to demonstrate uh, the applicability of LSTM model in uh, predicting temperature.